Good evening, everyone. Our last break of 2018-19 Panini Revolution Basketball. This is eight box. Pick your team number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got more hoops. We've got Prism Basketball Retail Personal Boxes on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And we're almost full on Absolute Basketball as well. So check it out. Now, in this Revolution break, I'm sure everyone read the item description. You have a chance at the Dallas Mavericks in this one. So let's sort by your first names. Now, if you bought... Two, if you buy at least two teams, you get one entry. Four teams, two entries. Six teams, three entries, etc., 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 so on and so forth. So John has four. So that means you get two entries for the Mavs. David O with one. Eric Bailey with one. Eric got six, so he has three entries. Fidel Cairo with one. Jeremy Merle with one. Jordan with one. Mark, you got four teams. You've got two in this one, and Ray, you've got a shot as well. All right, so let's copy those names. Let's pop them in here. Let's randomize that list. Five and a three, eight times. Name on top gets the Mavs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, it's Eric Rittenhouse. There you go, Eric. After eight times, the Mavs are yours. All right, so now let's alphabetize these by team. Let's print. Let's rip. Good luck, everyone. There's the case right there. Remember, I marked it PYT number six, so we know it's from the same master case. All right, good luck, everyone. There it is on the 20th. Eight box inner, pick your team six, 1819 Revolution Basketball. Josh with that last spot mojo. All right. Good luck. Only two NBA games on tonight. Rockets at the Heat. The Clippers are hosting Luka Doncic and the Mavericks. I've got financial interest in the Miami Heat, and I've made an investment on the Clippers tonight as well. So we'll see what happens. Heat are uh, slight home dogs. Clippers home favorites. Mothro is saying his Sixers has got some big games coming up. What, what are the big games coming up, Mothro? Sixers have had some issues on the road. Remember, they're on the road, but seem, seem to be playing okay at home. And that Rockets Heat game just started. Rockets up 11 6 early on in the first quarter. Just started. This game's on TNT. Got an MLB network on right now. Let's switch over to TNT really quick. Before we get to box one. There it is. There you are, TNT. Let's get the let's get the squeak of basketball shoes on this video here. Alright, good luck, Lee. Actually, we're gonna go this way on this. Gotta look at all the parallels first. Like that cosmic out of 100. Astro. Groove. And our first auto coming up is going to be a nice one. On card auto Lori Markinen for the Bulls. That'll be for Mark Matheson. And you guy Mojo still continuing today, even Mark. Look at that. 
Nice, good start. All right, all cards ship, so in case I miss something, don't worry. It'll still end up in your shipments here. These are the non-parallel ones, so we just breeze by these. I believe these parallels were sleeving and top loading before they go out. There's a lot, a lot of fun parallels to chase in this, ladies and gentlemen. This, of course, 82 out of 100. Kata Bates Diop for the T Wolves, and of course, the Lori Markin was your auto. All right, good start. Next box. Yeah, get the get the new guy out of here. All the regulars, marker. I mean, like, what the hell? Taking all of our mojo here. That could have been one, one of the regulars. A lot of empty seats in this heat game. What's going on? Thir Thursday night, nobody wants to nobody wants to go see the Miami Heat. Check this. Let me go the other way really quick. Not every box has an autograph. knocked over my camera. And the Sunburst, Willie Colley Stein, Sacramento Kings. 61 out of 75. That will go to Eric Rittenhouse. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, there's a commercial for uh, for Holmes and Watson with uh, Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. Are we intrigued by this? It's like um, what's that show? Highly questionable. C si or no? And we've got. Oh, look at this. Spurs, Steve Kerr. Look at that. That goes to Ray, San Antonio Spurs. Really good last season. Now guys, I also sat down with Dwayne Wade before the game and asked 
I like these liftoff cards right here. And then we got Landry Shamit, Cosmic out of 100. Jaden, what's going on? Is he? I was just I was just about to ask uh, how how Landry Shamit has been doing. That's what I love about this basketball. All these rookies will get will get such a great opportunity to get some playing time early. It's a good thing, you know. Keebler, uh, nothing's breaking next. Nothing is sold out at the moment, so you can buy a spot and drive the direction of where this evening is going to go. Wow, so Landry Shamit has the most three points made among rookies. Nice. Keeler, you need some crazy hits? We'll join a break. We're wide open the rest of the night. After this break is done, nothing else is sold out. And let's chase those crazy hits. Interesting. So, so Shamit has 63. Doncic is second in threes with 60. We'll see a little Luka Doncic tonight. I'll be watching that Dallas at Clippers game tonight. Good. That's that's always good. Hashtag good for the hobby. This guy's good for the hobby. There he is. And Cubic, 31 out of 50, Aaron Gordon, Orlando Magic. That is for Fidel Cairo. All right, next box. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Houston up 23-14 with four minutes left in the first. And P.J. Tucker throws up a shot that gets caught in between the rim and the backboard. <laughs> Are they going to go broom or is someone just going to jump? Oh, someone just jumped up and get it. I thought they are going to make one of the ball kids, ball girl, ball boy, grab the old broomstick and <laughs> poke it out of there. Nice to Rosen right here, Cubic. And that looks like the autograph there, right? It is. It's going to be another old school guy, John Stockton. Jazz. Jordan Arford with the Jazz. What's, what's John Stockton doing these days? What's he up to? Right, uh, his contemporary Steve Kerr, coaching, doing stuff. What's John John Stockton doing? He's not in broadcasting or anything like that. Maybe he has no interest in that. Another nice Luca parallel, and there's 13 out of 50 cubic DeMar DeRozan, Shockwave. 
the Spurs jersey. All right, next box. Did some business stuff. He coached a little, says Josh Cruz. Hmm. Otherwise, just enjoying retired life, I guess. All right. You know what Steve Nash is doing? I saw Steve Nash uh, doing uh, as a as a soccer analyst for um, for Champions League games for UEFA Champions League matches. That's what Steve Nash is doing. He's always loved soccer. So that's what he's doing. He's doing, doing some analysis. Which is kind of fun to see the other week. <laughs> right. So Josh Proust is saying that, his, that, that Stockton's post-basketball career is much like his basketball career. Just pretty, pretty vanilla. Just helping out a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of assists. What's John Stockton up to? I don't know. Just helping out. Just making others around him better. Don't Doesn't need the glory. We'll save one of those Lebrons. I think this is the first set with him in his in his uh, Lakers gear. And there is Wendell Carter Jr. Cosmic, sixty-six out of one hundred. That'll go to Mark and the Bulls. Down to our last two boxes. I saw Carl Malone in a funny. Uh, I saw Carl Malone in a funny like prank video. I think it was pranking Anthony Davis or something like that. Oh, John Tamison is here. He's saying that Stockton lives in Spokane, up in the Pacific Northwest, and organizes a youth basketball tournament. The last time you saw, nice. And Matt Bodner saying his son David was on the Kings for a, for a hot minute. All right, there you go. Wow. Nice DeAndre Ayton autograph. That's a great one for the Phoenix Suns. That'll be for Eric Rittenhouse. Nice, Eric. And it's strong. Joe Ingles wanted to make an appearance there. Oh, there you go. William L. with a little more specifics. He was, uh, John Stockton was an assistant coach for the Montana State Lady Bobcats a few years ago. There you go. Some more details. On our latest episode of, on our latest episode of Where Are They Now? Twenty-seven out of one hundred. Colin Sexton. Nice. 
All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Maybe we'll find another autograph in here. Keebler is asking, where are the Raiders playing next year? The Oakland Raiders? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Maybe they'll get another year contract or a year lease at the Coliseum. But City's not happy with them. Or not happy with the NFL, actually. I guess both. Um, they could play at the UNLV Stadium in Vegas. Although I heard that's a dumb. Or not well, not not good for a professional football team. Worse in the Coliseum, apparently. I've heard some rumblings that maybe they'll play a year in San Diego. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> the Jaspies parking lot. I don't know. If, I don't know if there there'd be enough room. I guess they could play. What if they played at StubHub for a year? I think isn't the aren't the Chargers and Rams moving in next year, in 2019? So StubHub's open. John, yeah, John Gruden actually worked for the Jaspies uh, shipping department. Can you imagine? All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. What else do I have to do? Is this a? This is not a Saint Nick break or anything. All right, we're done. That was Revolution Basketball. Pick your team number six. Some nice autos popping out of here. We'll try to get some more of this stuff. We did pretty well with this. So check it out. Uh, there's more hoops on the site. Absolute Basketball is also available almost full as well. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Check it out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.